Howdy YouTubers, I just wanted to do a little video about this. I know it's really super late, like, yeah, but I figure there's probably someone out there who wants information on this. When I was in Japan, which was unfortunately quite a bit ago, um, I'd lived there for 11 months and in July, the month before I left to head back to America, I was lucky enough to go to a handshake meeting to meet one of my favorite actors, Suda Masaki, or Masaki Suda, however you prefer to call him. Um, he's an idol who, uh, I guess he won one of, like, he was one of the winners of the Junon Superboy contest, and he ended up working as one of the characters in Kamen Rider Double, and since then he's had, like, two drama roles, and he's got another drama coming out next month, and he'll have a movie coming out, I think, in May, I don't remember, whatever, um, basically, he had a a photo book release while I was in Japan and it, he listed this on his blog and that's how I found out about it and I didn't really want to go by myself so I asked my friend if she'd come with me and she said she would but she didn't want the photo book so I asked her if it'd be okay if she came but I'd pay for her book and I'd just resell it when I returned to the United States which is what I did um, so it ended up costing me 60 bucks because I I bought two books for myself and one book for her and if you bought the two book set you could take a photo with him so that's kind of why I chose to do two books and then she just got to shake his hand so he released the information on his blog and it told like where the event would be and what time and in order to to like do this event you had to buy either one or two books from the particular bookstore in which the event was going to be at which was a bookstore in the underground promenade in Shinjuku which was books Fukuya or Fukuya Shoten whichever you prefer to call it um so I I called the store to make sure that they still had tickets left before you know spending money to go out to Shinjuku and get the tickets themselves you get these little slips of paper saying like you bought a two book set or whatever and I I bought those and kind of ended up bumming around Tokyo for like the rest of that day and that was like a week before the event so you don't really have to rush on all the events that go on this one maybe was a little special because it was a book like you had to buy merchandise in order to go to the event so they're okay with people not paying for the event until the day of the event. Um, it's basically however many books they have is however many tickets they have. Um, so I did this wonderful little event and yeah I went there the day that the event started or whatever like you don't have to camp out or something stupid like that. Um, my friend and I met at her station and then we went into Tokyo and went to Shinjuku and I kind of led the way because I already had been to the bookstore once and just kind of waited around until it was our tur turn to move up in the line. They usually do it by 50 people or at least at that event that I was at they did it by 50 people so they had 1 through 50 up first in line and then you know eventually got to my group which was like in the 700s quite a while basically but um I got into line and waited for an hour and a half or so because we'd just been wandering around until the 700s started getting called and um yeah as we were doing this whole thing um there's tons of people adults children men women everyone around just like ah we're gonna meet Masaki and um as you're getting up closer to him like there's two different sets of lines and the closer set of lines is you know the spinning around with all the little whatever the like cords or whatever and as you go in to meet him you have to put your bag down and you can't have your camera with him or with you so he's in kind of a little man-made room thingy that they can take down made of like these 
wall, movable walls, and they have it s set up so that you can't see them until you turn this corner after you've put your bag down and stuff. So you go in, and in my case, I got to shake his hand, and you know, I attempted to talk to him, and then he introduced himself and said, "Nice to meet you" in English, which was really cute. Um, and then got to take the picture with him. So. If you're able to do these kind of events, sometimes you can get a, a like a little photo with the person that you're going to see or whatever. And then after you take the photo, you have to leave, of course. You can't just hang around and look at him. So you receive your book. They will probably give it to you in a bag, as they did with me. Um, and then after that, I just kind of bummed around Tokyo. I actually headed out to Ikebukuro with my friend after the event and whatnot, but, you know, if you ever want to try to go to one of these ways to meet an idol that you like, um, perhaps if you follow their blog or if you read their website or, you know, do a, tra a Google Translate on their website, it will pop up if there's some sort of event, they'll, they'll mention it definitely so they can get people coming. Um, I don't know about other events, but this event that I went to, you had to buy merchandise in order to meet him. You couldn't just randomly meet him. You had to buy merchandise. Um, so, other events may not be that way. I I'm not really sure. This is the only one I've been to. But, um... Yeah, so if any of you guys have any questions, just... Give me a comment down below, um, or you can send me a message, though honestly I don't use YouTube that much, so whatever. Um, I can probably help if you want, like, if you find something that you think is like that, I can try to translate it for you, but I'm not a professional by any means, um, and I can't do this for everyone, obviously, so... I don't know. If you really need help, if you can't read any Japanese at all, find a friend, or if you really need to, you can ask me. As I mentioned, I don't use YouTube that much, so maybe I won't be able to get back to you on time. So, thank you for watching, and I hope that helped some of you or something. So, see you later.